That's it. Hello. Good morning, everyone, from tuning in. And um, I'm here with Richard Schmidt from the German actor, the seven man from the German actor. So he anchors the whole boat. He's the number one ranked audience in the world on the worldwide ranking. So it's really lovely to see you this morning, Richard. Hello. Thank you. Yeah. Now, you've just come back from the European Championships where the German Age won yet again. Could you give us uh, a sense of how that regatta was, what it was like to be held under the COVID restrictions? Yeah, it was, it was a really different regatta because uh, there are a lot of... Um, you have to wear a mask, you don't uh, have to be together with other crewmates and uh, you're always separated, you have no... Um, um, from hotel to the regatta course, there was only in your own car or in a little van. And um, yeah, this was a little bit strange. But for us, it was very good to have this, this regatta because um, we trained so hard in the summer and um, we need this to, to, to race against other um, nations. And with the Dutch crew or the Romanians, there was also um, very high level races. So, uh, yeah, we are really happy to, to race this, this, this European Championships. So how, how good was your performance in the final? How pleased were you with the way you were riding? Uh, how good? Uh, it was a little bit strange because um, we trained, we trained not, not so much in this higher rate um, performance. We only trained in lower rate and make some, um, um, yeah, some aerobic um, stuff and um, so it was really really um, yeah, strange for us to 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 row on this high stroke level and um, this was it was also very nice it's, it, it felt very good and it's it felt like okay that's how why uh, that's why you row and um, yeah we are very happy to 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 do to do, to have the possibility to race there were you surprised that the duck date wasn't closer to you? <laughs> ah, I think um, the Dutch crew was uh, in the first rain, the, in the in the um, in the races of lanes. There were, I think, they were they were a little bit surprised that um, the first five hundred meter was so strong from us. Um, but um, they um, they are so such a good crew. They are so so much experience like Robin van Lucken, he's, he's a really, really good rower. And um, so, yeah, we, we also, we are very happy that we are this length before them, but uh, I think there are a lot of time to Olympic to Olympics next year. So they, uh, that I think that's gonna be very close next year. Yeah. And, you know, it was, uh, it was a bit strange watching the European Championships without the British team there. Were you, did, did that bother you at all or did that just, was it just like normal? No, it's not normal. <laughs> you, especially in the eight, you always race against the British eight, uh, the British eight. And, um, yeah, but uh, I, I can understand them because um, they had a really, really long lockdown, no, really, really long time, no rowing on the water, only rowing on the rowing machine. And I think um, you need time to to get this feeling, this rowing feeling back. So um, yeah, I can understand that they yeah. break there. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm very I feel sorry for them because uh, I I think they it's it's gonna be a very hard time for them. At the moment, and yeah, and um, yeah, and now it's it's the, the, the new uh, winter season is beginning, <laughs> so it's always on the erg, uh, a train camp, no races, and uh, that's really hard and really tough for your for your head and for your brain because yeah, uh, you 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 row because of races, and when you don't race <laughs> over two years yeah. or one and a half years, that's very hard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how surprised were you about the news that Jürgen Grobler had retired? Yeah, it was re really hard. He's he's one. He's the best coach in the world, um, and um, I I thought he he will do this 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 one year to the Olympics, um, but um, yeah, he's he's not the youngest. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, I, I understand him. He's uh, he's so long in this business, so I think he um, he's he's. He's he's good. Uh, he's good with with his um, retirement. So yeah. um, he enjoy it now the life uh, with his wife, and um, so I can understand this totally. Yeah. Do Do you feel um, because the British are traditionally a very strong rival for Jordan Baxter? Do you, do you feel it is more motivation for you without Jürgen Grobler coaching? <laughs> No, yes. Uh, there's always uh, a big um, motivation to race against uh, the British team because uh, they are so strong and they have so so good athletes and so good coaches. So um, um, yeah, they will also be very very strong next year. Uh, okay. Very, very sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how how hopeful are you that next year will happen that, that you will be racing in Tokyo? I. I expect it because um, they um, I, in, in Germany there's the Bundesliga uh, soccer. Yeah. So um, they they played, I think, four months ago for the first time. So um, um, yeah, I, I, in my opinion, when they play soccer, then we can row because yeah. we are. It's also an out, outdoor uh, sports, and um, yeah, it's going to be difficult because of the Olympic Village. But there, you, you can make some rules or special rules to 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 regulate it, so that there's no big connections between the the athletes. So I think it's possible, but um, you have to to be um, yeah to be clear with it because uh, you have to 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 um, to head to to follow the, these rules, and then there's I think there's no problem, but. Um, yeah, we have to 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 wait how this develop because in Germany the Corona um, um, the Corona um, numbers are rising, yeah. so um, it's it's gonna be tough this this winter. Yeah. Will 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 Tokyo be your last Olympic? <laughs> um, I I plan to Tokyo. And um, after this, I will see. But um, I also told you that I make my PhD, and um, my professor said that <laughs> after the Olympics, I have to focus on <laughs> on the university. And um, I will also finish both because I want to work um, in, the, in two years or in one year. So um, yeah, I, w I will see how how um, for me it's important to be fun. There's a good. Uh, I have to. I, I need good good teammates, and uh, I have to um, be in the physical uh, conditions to yeah. to make this. And um, yeah, I think this is. These are the the three things which are which are very important for me. And um, yeah, we will see. First, uh, I'm focused on the Olympics next year. And uh, yeah, Sam Daly, who is watching on YouTube, has asked. You, um, what is it like to row in the same piece of the eight for more than two Olympic games? Sorry, what? What is it like for you to row in the seventh feet for the eight for more than for a long time? How is that? Um, yeah, it changed the it changed the position, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's a good feeling to be part of the the the, the germ eight. I don't know if in Germany the germ eight is um, has a big history. Because of um, of um, Karl Adam in the uh, fifty years ago, and um, it's the German is also very successful, especially in the last ten years, and uh, it make you it makes you proud to be part of this. And um, there's always a lot of pressure, especially um, to the Olympics, because uh, every everyone in Germany says, "Okay, you're in the eight, so you have to win medals." And, and um, this is this is cool, but <laughs> it's yeah. also very tough and there's a lot of pressure. And uh, when I look back at um, at uh, London, the Olympics in London, we we are unbeaten. I think thirty or five races, yeah. and and there was so big pressure uh, on us because uh, yeah, we are we have to, we had to, we had to win. There was no other possibility and. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if you know 
of the race this was really close with the with the um, with the British age in the middle of the race. So uh, it was really, really, really tough race. But um, yeah, we were so happy to win this and just, uh, to win this. Just talk about that race for a moment because um, the the British bow came in front of you, as you said, in in the middle of the race. Was that were you really, was that your the race you were most nervous for? Our coach uh, Ralf Hortmann said they were never uh, before us. <laughs> 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 I, I, I didn't know it because uh, I was so focused on uh, on rowing. Um, yeah, this, we, we we felt it. This was uh, the special in London. Was uh, there was so many um, people there, and it was so loud. So we can't hear our cocks. It was incredibly loud. Um, and then you 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 um, you race after the thousand, and then the third five hundred. The, the British make so much pressure, and um, then our Cox Martin said uh, six hundred meters before um, the finish line. Okay, now we have to move everything. What what's 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 yeah. Left. And then uh, I think this was the the key scene in this um, in this race. Um, and then we we. Uh, we moved forward, and uh, then I saw in my eyes that uh, the British can't um, can't handle this. Yeah, and so we we pushed away, and um, yeah, I was really happy. And um, yeah, it was one of the craziest and, and best runs I have had. Race yeah. I ever had. What was it like for you becoming an Olympic champion in rowing? I uh, I said it before. I um, I was nervous. Before the race and after the race, I was um, um, I was there was so much better. I was not as happy. I, I did not realize it at the moment because um, it was like so. Oh, now it's over. Oh, I'm, I'm it's it's over. Not not like oh happy. I'm uh, I'm winning the the Olympic gold medal. It was like uh, yeah, it's over. And uh, I realized that I won gold. I think three two weeks later when I arrived in Germany and uh, in my hometown and um, yeah then I realized okay this was really really a tough race and it was you achieved so much and um, yeah this was this was crazy that's this was the time I realized okay um, I'm Olympic champion yeah um, we, Richard we're getting some questions in um... One from Martin Heidman on Facebook, who, who says the 2019 Canal Cup was brutal. I think maybe you can see the questions on the screen. Um, what was going through your mind in the last thousand metres when both Germany and the Netherlands were rowing with one man down? Uh, in, in Rendsburg last year? In Rendsburg last year, yeah. Um, yeah, first it was... Uh... We, we struggled also, uh, I think, after five or six kilometers. Um, our, my teammate, uh, Chris Reinhardt, was, uh, was, um, was in struggle at the moment, at this time. And um, he was also uh, collapsed, I think, after 10 kilometers. And I thought, okay, that's over. That's all. And, and then the, the Dutch crew passed, passed us. And um, yeah, I said, okay. That, that's all. That's that's it. And uh, <laughs> but uh, we 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 are so motivated. And our Cox Martin said, "Okay, now we have to go uh, with with only the seven guys, and we, we'll do this." And and then he said, "Okay, the Dutch crew has also big problems, and we moved. Um, it's getting closer and closer and closer." And then I saw the Dutch crew, and <laughs> then I looked looked on the side, and I saw, "Okay, they have the same problem as as we." <laughs> <laughs> I, I, after the race, I I was uh, I have to laugh. Sorry, but it was it was one of the craziest races ever I uh, ever had because I never um, saw that that the two guys on two different uh, boats were collapsed by um, yeah by I don't know why <laughs> but this was it was totally crazy yeah yeah. Um, Gavin Clark, who's watching on YouTube, has asked about the technique for the German eight, and he says he thinks in recent years you look more relaxed around the back end, the finish of the stroke. Um, and and how? What is the secret of the fantastic German front end, the catch? How how do you approach this? 
Um, yeah, it it's it's uh, from from outside it's it's it looks like okay it's very easy and uh, it's uh, it's it's gonna be soft and smooth, but um, it's 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 really hard <laughs> also in the race and um, yeah we are very focused on the on the catch and the, um, because uh, we think that um, that's important to be um, direct and, and to have to have the catch uh, you catch the water direct and no um, yeah, no no um, I don't know how, how you can delay yeah no delay you know and um, yeah this is very important for us and um, you have we 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 row so much kilometers together and uh, focus on on uh, on length and the catch and um, I think it's it's training it's uh, like we we make a lot of drills to yeah. to be better, to be closer to get together um, and um, we also change a lot uh, in the pair in the four and um, yeah to to simulate our rowing technique and um, yeah this is this is how we uh, we train and we we try to to for each uh, train session we uh, we talk about it and we talk about our aim in the in the for the next session what we want to do what we want to reach and um, then we talk about after this train session okay what we have achieved yeah. uh, what can we do and um, that is that is also very important for us that we talk to each other and that everyone in, in the boat can can say okay. Uh, or to have his own opinion, and then we can discuss it, and um, yeah, then we we try to to um, yeah to be um, every session better and better, yeah. and um, don't be um, yeah you you can't be happy with, with this is what you achieve. You have to be you you have to be always go on go on go on go on. I think. Nobody in, in in the world rowing perfect, and um, everybody, everyone have to to um, to be better in this technique. And you can always be better in the catch, in the rolling um, with the with the with, with the, in the, in the front, row and something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. It it seems whenever I, I watch the German paddling, the blades go in so quickly, but almost with no effort. Yeah, yeah, that, that is really important for us to be direct in the water, and um, yeah, and not like um, this one. It's like direct in the water, and um, then you have uh, a, a very good and length in the water, and uh, you can push uh, very, very hard. Yeah, I think in the in the final of the Europeans, I saw you in the first, or maybe. 300 meters to 500. The length, the length looked very good. The, the shoulders were really loose as you were coming forward. Yeah. And I think, yeah, yeah. It, um, it's it's. I, I think special in, in the in the special in, in the eight is you 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 have to be fast uh, in the in the first quarter of the race, and um, it's special in in Poznan. It's a very fast track. So um, when you lose in the front and uh, in the beginning of the race some some meters, then it's very hard um, to to catch the others. And um, there are some crews they are really good in, but um, yeah, it's it's very hard to to over race another boat in uh, in in the end, and especially in the in the eight, because um, you can always um, react. On on um, yeah on another on another boat because you have Cox he, he sees that and then you can okay you can react and so um, yeah in my opinion you have to to move very fast in the first yeah uh, of the races yeah. how how does the speed of the German eight now compare with the German eight say in the 2012 Olympics when you were Olympic champion or, or even the German eight in Rio 2016? Is, is this a faster crew or just a different crew? Uh, it's there. I think uh, 
the crew now it's you can compare it with the crew in uh, from 2009 to 2012 um if because of their um attitude because of their thinking and uh their their will to win and um and this was the problem also a little bit in, in from 13 to 16 um we 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 were not so fast in the in the beginning of the race. We are already like a big uh, sprint at the end. I think I don't know if you remember Lucerne or uh, I don't know what what uh, what races we had in Ekbilet, World World Rowing Championships in Ekbilet. Yeah. The yeah. British way, and so we we moved in the in, at the end. Very it was very close, but very close. yeah, but, yeah, because um, the British react. Then they are so um, yeah they raced very clever and um, we let them go in the beginning so uh, that was a little bit different and I think the the crew uh, the, my teammates now they are um, they are um, very focused and they are want to win and we do everything to um, to be faster and um, yeah yeah yeah.